Okay, not too bad. But we're going to get the hit back. We're going to get the hit back before the other one gets. Yeah, yeah. And provoked him, so he's only doing his A1. Perfect. That worked out beautifully. Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends to go over Kornar and Manaya in Arena against Hegemon to see how it plays out. Now, I don't have them optimally built, but I think they're going to do fairly well. It's a lot of fun. The theory is sound, of course, right? Hegemon's going to go first. He's going to hit Kornar. He's going to counterattack no matter what because Manaya's there. He has two hits that he's going to do. AoE, try to drop their turn meter by 10% on each of those hits. So right away, we're going to get a boost as long as we drop that turn meter. Plus, he's in Provoke Artifacts with fearsome presence so he's got a 35 percent chance to provoke them throw up a provoke no matter what their resistance is and then we've got immunity on madam and on our trunda and they've got ways to get additional turn meter as well if an ally is crit and then i think a couple might have divine intervention on her just in case we need her to pop off and do something really quick she is in a shield set as well mania because i didn't want to put shields on him i have him again on the provoke artifact so we need that four set piece for that let's go in let's just see what happens Let's see what immediately happens when Hegemon hits our Kornar. And I hope we get some wins here. Okay, great. Now, I don't have him. If, if I was really smart, I'd put him in immunity and I would have him in high accuracy, right? To make sure that he drops that turn meter. We want that turn meter drop. We don't necessarily have to have him in a provoke set or we could have that. But I think immunity would be better. If we're going to do this right here, maybe immunity with really, really high accuracy. That way we can't. But the only thing, like if a Hegemon had provoke gear on, that's fine. Look at this, drop and turn meter, drop and turn meter. But if he has a sleep set on or a stun set on, he could be stunned or slept right now. So that's the only thing we got to worry about. But we should be fine. Let's just play it through. We've already got everything up that we need to. The turn meter has been dropped enough. Look, turn meter reduction, and we're already, we're like killing the team. It's already going down. We had shield sets on Manaya, which kind of guarded all of our people a little bit because I don't really need anything else on her. There's no need for like high accuracy on her or anything else. So that's it. We got a shield set on her. That way I could have my provoke set on our coronar. And we're good. We're good to go. It should be, it should be easy days. Look at this. He's got he's gonna be coming back to us if we kill somebody. Hopefully we'll have her provoke too. Two hits, right? We only get one chance to provoke. We don't get two additional times to provoke here, but it's an artifact set, so we don't have to worry about accuracy. But we do need high accuracy to drop the turn meter, though. So we do need that accuracy. He does also have a provoke on his A2, which is really strong. Oh, oh, she's got high resistance, it looks like. Block it. That's okay. We can still knock down our turn meter. We could try to provoke everybody, which I think we're going to do. We're going to provoke them all. Plus, we'll put block debuffs buff up on him with that provoke and increase defense. Get the provoke up on them. And then just keep dropping her turn meter and kill her. I think we're just going to kill her. We could heal and get buffs up, right? Whenever we heal with this, we put buffs up right here. If the champion is fully healed by this skill, also place a shield buff on them by for two turns of 25% of their max HP. So we could get a little bit bigger shields, but I feel like we got... Pretty nice shields, right? Let's try to drop turn meter on somebody. On her. Let's drop turn meter on her if we can. Resist it, okay? Sorry, everybody's gonna die, I feel like. <laughs> okay, they're all dead. But you saw how it worked out. If we didn't have him in there popping off right away when Hegemon hit us, trying to drop their turn meter, and then if anybody's crit on our team, we're gonna get increased from our masteries. I think it works out pretty darn well. Here we go. Now we have a torment here. We Again, we don't have immunity on our boy, Kornar which I think we should definitely change to if we're going to play him full-time against Hegemon. But it looks like he's been doing okay. And we're not even worried about that because we do have our Madam in here. She'll drop it all down. Now we're going to provoke everybody. All right, that's two. Two, two, two of them coming in. Right, and then here he goes. It doesn't matter. A1. He could provoke them right now. No, we got three. And he did. He provoked her off of those sets. It's so dirty. We don't care what your resistance is. Have that high resistance as long as this block immunity isn't up. Then we still drop turn meter though, right? Even if they had a block debuffs up. We're still trying to drop that turn meter quite often. If they just keep coming in and hitting him, we're fine. As long as they don't obliterate us, right? And then <laughs> Trunda, Trunda just laying it down on it. Let's go, auto. We're good here. Not a lot of DPS though, right? If we didn't have Trunda here, we don't have a massive amount of damage coming out from our people. But I have had Trunda die before playing around in Tag Team Arena with this comp. And it just takes a long time. It just takes a long time. We still get it done. It just takes longer. Unfortunately, there's nobody on our team to revive. We don't have that. We could place that in here, right? I kind of like this team dynamic, though. I like what we have going on here. We can still take it down quick and easy. Mad. Oh, yeah, you mad. And then we've got, again, is that the same team we just fought? I feel like it's very similar. Where are all the rest of the Hegemons? All right, that's it. We're here. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what we can do against these. Mirror match team. Let's see if it works out as well in our favor. There we go. Turn meter reduction. Good. We got our. We got the timing in there. Before Arbiter could do her madness. 
think that's gonna help out. Good, good, come on, more provokes, more provokes. This only gives it, if this champion is fully healed by this skill, you also, okay, if it's fully healed, then we get to place it. No, 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 not that one, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah this one. Oh, only if their increased defense is up. Okay, so we need increased defense. That I don't like about her. I think she's kind of underwhelming. She's She's got tons of heals, especially for early and mid game. Her heals are insane. But I think later on, she needs to be able to block debuffs regardless and not have to have increased defense up so that she can actually do some stuff on her own. Because really, she's just here to help him out. Otherwise, we don't necessarily have to have her there. We could have other healers or we could have a Duchess or somebody really cool here. We don't need her. But since she lets him provoke at any time, do the A1 whenever he's even just touched with her being there. And he lets she lets him hit two times. Not more damage though, the damage is lowered. But he does hit two times, which means he gets two chance to lower the turn meter. So that's all we're worried about. That's all we want her there for. We don't even care about the rest. Okay, that was fast too. Wow. All right, let's go. Refresh. Anybody else? Any other Hegemons? Come on, show me those dirty Hegemon. There we go. We got two. Let's see. If the, these are obviously going to be two... Savage geared high damage now we do have shields on her, but I don't think they're gonna be enough I have much bigger shields on somebody like skull lord that we could bring in to protect our people or we could definitely supplement in a Seeker to help out right Try to help us survive. Let's see how hard they hit Okay, not too bad, but we're gonna get the hit back. We're gonna get the hit back before the other one gets yeah, yeah. and provoked him So he's only doing his a1 Perfect that worked out beautifully Wow Sorry, I was clapping my hands there, but I was pretty excited about that. Okay, hit back. Oh, he's stunned? He's stunned? Hedgy, Hedgy, calm down. No, I mean, I mean, Rotos, Rotos, calm down there, buddy. Oh, he got stunned by that A1. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's <laughs> stun artifacts on. Oh, we need to, let's, let's lower him down. Let's try to keep him down a little bit. Nope, resisted. That's fine. Lockout. We don't care about that. Oh, our girl's still here. Bye-bye, everybody. Easy. Easy times. <laughs> No problem there. He did He did. He did. did his job, right? We got hit by that one Hegemon. He came in there, did AoE, was able to make it so we didn't get hit by that second Hegemon and still lower turn meter of them so our other people could take effect and do what they, so our Madam and our Trunda could do what they needed to do. I call that a win, and, and it was 100% because of these two. And it was a win, right? Of course we call it a win, Stu. That was a win. There we go. Drop it down. He got provoked. He's going to go, but he's got no increased attack or decreased defense on us. Not as deadly, but it did hurt our girl here with the two hits. Drop turn meter. We got a heal on her. Oh, maybe we should have done A3. I was thinking that was Madam's time to go. It's all right. It's all right. We got Provoke on everyone now. Almost everybody. He's not going to do anything to us now. <laughs> Plus, his passive's on cooldown. Doesn't matter. We are done. 26 seconds. 26 seconds win. Platinum Arena against a Hedgy. Refresh, who do we have? Okay, we got a Raglan there, and we've got the, the Mad. Okay, this, this team's probably going to have some pretty good artifacts on them. It's a Mad Lad team. They usually have some really good teams out here. I don't know, but I think we're going to be able to... You know, these are the hardest ones to fight. Two Revivers, along with a Seafy and a Rotos. And she's got that A1, right? And then Rotos is going to whack us. Okay, didn't, didn't whack us that hard there. We just got to keep going with this turn meter reduction. And hey, maybe Trend is going to take it. Maybe Trend is going to do it. We got timing. We got the timing right. Mm, turn meter reduction on this one. And Trend is coming in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 27 seconds. I like that. I like the 27 second kill. Gods and Legends, LK23. I don't know who you are, my friend. Let's see what happens. If you're, Let's see if your Tormund's going to eat us up because we're not all in immunity. Oh, we got a stun. Hegemon stun, but not on our boy here. Okay, there we go. That's all we need. I feel like that's all we're going to need. Oh, oh, she got a double boost. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. He died. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Come on, get some more provokes up, Coronar. You've got the, the provoke artifacts on. Let's get it. She got the double boost because we had somebody die. Okay, he didn't. He just did his A1. Okay, he was, was he provoked? Damn, he got frozen. He got frozen. We're in trouble here. Somebody has... <laughs> Turn meter? No, we're not. 30 seconds and done. Nope, no, we're not done. I'm sorry. What am I talking about? Torments here always coming back to life, dude. You know this. You know this. You've played plenty of times. You know this right here. All right, we're just we're just taking the Hegemon teams. That one took longer than I would like, right? One minute to take out a Hegemon, but we are in Platinum Arena. Things are going to arise. Plus, there was a damn Torment in there coming back to life. Otherwise, it would have been super fast. I mean, you know how it is with those Torments. Okay, this one. This one I don't like. You know, I don't like going up against those two-turn Raglins. Plus, we got a Reviver here. So many Revivers. It's a reviving nightmare. We got a Provoke on her, though. From the artifact set we're gonna drop this down maybe we can take it over with our trunda 
No, 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 no. Turn meter increase for everybody over there. Oh, drop back down. Just kidding, just kidding. We got to provoke there. Let's drop him a little bit, can we? Turn meter reduction, good. Evil Eye got him. Provoke, let's provoke them this time. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right, provoke on everybody. And they're all dead. 26 seconds? Okay, okay, she's provoked. She's not gonna do anything. That's fine, that's fine, Raglan, I see you. Turn meter reduction, hopefully, on that one. And then, come on. Okay, good job. Kornar takes it in. Nice. We are moving up the ranks of Platinum Arena with our team here. Reset. Where is Gallifrey? Where are you at, Hedgies? There's another Hedgie. GNL Serp. The Serp of Gods and Legends. Oh, here's one. This one. Oh, I don't know about this one. We're going to get re... Ah, oh, this is going to be... That's going to be a crazy... We'll come to that one next. Let's go to this. Let's go to this. <laughs> I'm scared of that one. Let's go to this Serp. Oh, he's got a turtle too. Man, everybody with the turtles. Hegemons and a Krisk. Such fun. I cannot wait till I get a Krisk one day. Can't wait till we all get a Krisk. There we go. We did our thing. Gave us what we needed to get on top. Hopefully, that's fine. You can provoke that A1. That's good. That's good. Take it. Trunda's coming. Trunda's coming. One, two. Trunda's coming for you. Three, four. Better lock your doors. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we got to get this Arbiter out here. Mm, I don't know. I, I think I want to turn me to... Re Let's try to turn me to reduction on her. There we go. Keep her down. Keep old Arbiter down. Okay. There you go, Turtle. That's right. Hit us. Oh, Arbiter's still there. She's got increased speed on her, too. Not good. Not good. Turn me to reduction. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. We got two turn me to reductions on her. It still wasn't enough. She's too fast. Too fast, Stu. She's coming in hot. Mm, mm, he's provoked. He's provoked. Let's get that one down. Get, 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 did we get him underneath 50% health? Okay, we did now. We did now for sure. So Trunda can come in and hit him. And get him out. Oh, why didn't he die? Oh, my Trunda. Was she weak or something? Good enough. Good enough. And one minute. That one took one minute. Longer than I thought, but I mean, come on. He's, he's, got, a, he's got a team, right? He's got an insane team. Okay. All right, the team I was afraid of... Let's go. This is going to be a long, drawn-out battle, right? You know this girl is going to have so much high resistance. But we can still get... Did we get a provoke up? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Let's see who we can... Who, who can we do? Okay, we got him, him, and I knew it. I knew Duchess would have very high. But we can still drop our turn meter. We can still even provoke her here. She's resisting our turn meter reduction, which really is bad. Reduction on that one? No. Who can we kill? She's just going to bring them back. Let's try to kill somebody with the A2. That way we'll save her A3. No damage done? What happened? Ah, uh, it split the damage. So we did no damage on her from the shields. We don't have that increased attack on our Trunda. This is not a good team to go up against. <laughs> this is not, now they got block debuffs. We need a little bit more. I think we just need to revise our team here. Oh, even if we drop them, she's going to bring them back. Keep her turn meter down. Come on. Can we get a turn meter reduction at all? They're wearing us down. We think we got one on there. Okay, we can do... We can't provoke them. That's it. We got to try to turn meter reduction from, from A1. No. Okay, heals, heals. We need some major heals coming in here. Right? We knew that was coming. Come on. Worker, worker. She's got that ally protect. What can we get? What can we get? This is perfect timing on that one. As long as we... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's get some provoke up. Nice. We know these two don't have high resistance. So now we can keep coming back on those hits. Oh, this fight's a nightmare. I don't want to hit, do I want to hit Krisk again? Oh, he's going to attack anyway, so it's fine. All right, 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 right. A1. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Maybe if I had a, if I bring in my super high accuracy madam, then we wouldn't have any issues, right? We wouldn't have any issues then. And if he had really high accuracy, much higher accuracy, we, we'd be better off. But right now, they are both provoked. I really want Chris out of the picture, man. He's so annoying. I don't want these debuffs on her, but <sighs> he's very tanky. This guy, you know what, A3, there. Ooh, ooh, we lit a lot of them up with that A3. Let's go. She's provoked now. She's provoked from his A1 artifacts. Yeah, you high resistance. You high resistance, Duchess. Look at this battle. It's two minutes. The battle's two minutes long. This grueling battle. Let's go. Let's go here. She's provoked. No problem. Let's put it on auto. See what we can do. Come on. She is so tanky too. High resistance, very tanky. You know, you know how you know how Duchess is, right? How she can definitely be. But we're gonna, she's gonna, you know how it is. She's gonna bring everybody back to life. So we've got to work fast. 
Okay, we got we can do some damage to her now. We can do some damage. I don't think this is gonna hit. I'm gonna do A1. Provoke, come on, we need that provoke right then. Turn meter reduction? Nope. We've already wasted that. There it is again. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, we're gonna get some shields up. And AoE again. Let's go. We get a stun, that'll work. That, that's something, right? That's something. Provoke? Yeah, we can get him again. Okay, good. We'll keep him in his place, Angar. Why not? Let's drop down what they have already. Good. Get him. Oh, there she is. Duchess is gone. Duchess is gone. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Three minutes in. Three minutes in. Oh, come on, Trenda. You got to decrease attack on you. I know. How about this one? How about that? How about you guys take that hit from our boy, Kornar? Now how you like it. Where'd my chapstick go? And done. Finally, three minutes and 29 seconds. Platinum Maria, TOA, we got you, buddy. We got you. That took quite some work. <laughs> quite a bit of work. All right, everyone. That's it. We did quite a few battles. It was a lot of fun. You can see how this comp can work together. Very cool to play them. They can do a lot of things in the game. We're going to do more with them. They are a fun combination. Always a fun combination. Here's what I have on her. I just have her in a shield set along with speed. Her total stats are 94,000. We've got her 2,293 defense, 224 speed, and that's it. We didn't really need much else on her. Of course, we can make them better for Arena. We definitely could. I just have Divine Intervention here in case they get low. We've got ways to get turn meter increase from Cycle of Revenge when our teammates are hit from that Hegemon. We've got Counterattack there because she does have an A1, which she'll put on that regen. Evil Eye, which I always love to have just because. That's why I have a little bit of accuracy on her just for that Evil Eye alone. Seriously, that's it. Then we've got our boy over here, Coronar, and we've got him set up with, again, immunity would be really good on him, but I do love having this provoke set of 30% chance to provoke plus a 5% additional 35 total with our masteries over here and fearsome presence. And then we get a chance to counterattack, which we should already be doing, but just in case, I've got it here. Then we get a chance to counterattack if one of our allies gets this on them. Always good to have, because if we get that counterattack with him on that A1, drop the turn meter, provoke, we're good to go. Of course, I always love to have, you know, less... Let's take damage when we get crit. And then down here, just more things to lower turn meter and then extend the duration of any debuff cast by this person. We do have that decreased attack, which is handy to have. I use it in PvE quite a lot, quite a lot. And then on him, his total stats that I have for him are 90,000, not a lot of defense, the same, around the same amount of speed, and only 286 accuracy. So if I was going to play him here, I would probably maybe switch all this out to get Eagle Eye. Get that additional accuracy because we're going to need the accuracy on him. We want that A1 to drop the turn meter as much as possible. But these two are always fun. So if you have them, try them out. They're a lot of fun against Hegemon. I think they work out very well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks all for watching. Appreciate your time, the love, and support. I will see you guys all on a video soon.